sorry volume one or like for volume two be a such a okay history of your be pure day care or a job volume one ka matlab history of your volume two ka matlab job or finance Which is? Measurement. Yeah. 
as a max and experimentation. Same type. Yeah, it's better. I have a habit of jotting down everything on the board. All the same type. Yeah, it's okay, but what will you do in the exam? It's better that you have been writing everything. So, last two years have been online learning. So, I don't know what is what has happened to your writing practice. Anything, whatever you have Example of physical quantities. So everything that we discuss has to make sense to you. So, so does it make sense to you? It is comparison of a given physical quantity with some standard physical quantity of same type. So first write down and then give the example of that. So what is a physical quantity? Example of physical quantity. So give me example of most basic physical quantity. Market to pick up groceries, you must know what quantity, how much 
of vegetables, how much of food they have to take up. So, mass. Now, you have to return, come back within two hours, three hours. That also, otherwise, you will open and you know, take your own sweet time. These are like very basic physical quantities. So, we need to be familiar with the physical quantities and we should also know how to measure them. Okay? So basically to measure all of, them, all of these physical quantities, we require instruments, right? So, uh, so there is a need, so in physics, right, there is a need, a need to measure These physical quantities. Okay, these. Huh? I think not. Twenty two to the Shall I let's see over? There is a need to measure these physical quantities. experimental science so physics is a experimental science wherein we will be dealing with measurement of various physical quantities so that we can present it in terms of data or further analysis right? in experiments we basically do data analysis we have to measure those physical quantities and present it right? Or report. So, is the need for measurement understood? Yes. yes. Okay. So, how do we measure any physical quantity? To measure, we need a unit. Unit is a standard reference, right? So, to be yes. What is the of? Okay. So, the meaning is. So let me first define unit and then we will come to it. Okay. To measure physical quantities, quantities, we need unit. Which is a which is a standard reference for a given physical quantity. Okay, how it takes in the meaning. First you write the So let us say this table is 2 meter. So if I say the length 2 meter, right? So, uh, so what it means is this length is 2 times of meter. That's the comparison. So if you know what is meter, then you know that this table is 2 times meter or 2 and half times meter. Understood? So that is the comparison. So this is the factor which is these many times of the unit. Okay, so that's the physical standard physical quantity is meter and yeah. the given physical quantity is two meters. So yes. You are comparing the standard, you are comparing the given physical quantity with the standard meter. Yeah. So you need a scale, right? 
How did you measure any length? We need a scale, a meter scale. Right? So, have you understood now? Does it make sense? It is comparison of a given physical quantity like this table. Right? With some standard physical quantity like a meter scale. Right? And scale measures length only. So, that quantity is also of the same type. So, for mass, we can compare it with some reference mass. Time has to be compared with some reference time. Okay. So, then we will repeat it. How many times of that reference? Is that clear? So, so measurement of a physical quantity measurement of a physical quantity is expressed as as say q is equal to n u right so q is our physical quantity and it is expressed using two things the numeric value and the unit okay so where q is the physical quantity so q is physical quantity n is numeric value or magnitude U is unit. So we have explained what is unit. Unit, not units. Unit is a singular thing. It's a single thing because it's the repetition of unit. So you can't write unit itself as a plural. Okay. So you cannot have meters, you just have meter, two meter, right? So two times meter. Okay, so like example, two meter, 10 kg, and 20 seconds. S is second for length, mass, and time. The most common physical quantities are given. S is second. Yes, second. S E C O N D. Yeah. Kg is kilogram. So every country has a bureau of weights and measures. Oh, what's the spelling? E-A-U-R of weights and measures. Just very much is done. And measures. Okay. So they 
basically set standards. I said unit is a standard reference, right? So there was some conference in 1960s in Paris, France, where the heads of Bureau of Weights, Weights and Measure of various countries got together and they agreed upon what would be a meter, what would be a kg, what, what is a second, right? So uh, besides about the standard standard units of measurement. Okay, it is these people who decide about the units of measurement. Right? So now let us understand what are the types of units. So there are two types of units basically. The types of physical quantities So there are two types basically fundamental quantities Okay The most basic three I have already told you what are they? Length, mass, and time. These are the most basic physical quantities. Then there is temperature. You have uh, electric current. Then you have uh, what else you have? You have amount of substance. Right? Then you have uh, luminous intensity. Supplementary quantities, plain angle and solid angle. Nine is solid angle. So these are all fundamental quantities. Okay. So uh, there are various systems of units, systems of units. Right. So you have a French system which is CGS, you have a British system which is FPS, put on second. Then you have a metric system which is called MKS, right? So these are the old system of units. Plain angle, solid angle. Supplementary, supplementary. But there also, so these seven are fundamental quantities, these are two additional supplementary units. Additional units. Yeah. So, CGS, these are old system of units. But now we follow what is called as SI system, International System of Units. In French, it is written as Systeme Internationale. It's an acronym is SI. In English, it is International System of Units. Okay. So now we follow SI system of units. Okay. 
So in SI system, length is measured in meter and symbol is M. Centimeter is in CGS system. This is a old system. Centimeter, then you have gram, then you have second. Here you have foot, then pound, LB, and second. Okay? MKS may have meter, kilogram, and second. Okay, this is the metric system. Foot. Foot, foot. Foot, pound. Pound is LB. And then you have second. Second is same across all. And here you have, uh, but no, we are not following the system, we will be following SI. The whole world now follows SI system. Some countries still follow that. So, M stands for M is food. Oh, M is bigger only. Uh, S is second everywhere, small s. Centimeter is CM. Okay. This is gram, then second. This is foot, pound, second. It is the symbol for pound, LB. Then you have meter, kilogram and second. Okay. Now in SI system, we, we now, these are all SI symbols, SI unit. So, SI unit. This is also SI unit. Full form. Right? This is SI symbol. This is the physical quantity, fundamental quantity. Okay, understood. Length, mass, these are all fundamental quantities. Here, SI unit is full form is written as meter, symbol is M. Mass, full form is kilogram. And this is kg. Everything, every unit is written in lower case, unless it is the name of a scientist. If it is the name of a scientist, then the symbol is in capital letter. But the full form is still lower case. Like if it is Newton, it will be written as small n e w t o n, but symbol will be capital N. Okay? Yeah. So time is second. Second, SI unit is second for time. Temperature is Kelvin. Now, Kelvin is the name of the scientist, but it will be written as lowercase. Small k, full, but here it will be capital K. This is what it is. What about electric current? Again, Ampere is the name of the scientist. But here you will write okay. Amount of substance is mole. Have you heard about it? You will hear about it. Mole. So it is basically a unit used in atomic world. Like right now in the physical world, like macro world, okay, everything is visible, but atoms are invisible, right? So when we deal with so many atoms, we take a unit called mole, which is like when we say a dozen banana, so it's 12 banana. So mole is a number of atoms, which is like 6.022 into 10 raised to 23. That many number consists of one mole of atoms. So, mole is a number basically. These many atoms, molecules, okay? So, a group of these many atoms constitute one mole. Luminous intensity is candela. CD. What is candela? CD is light. How much light? 
let us say one tubular produces one candela. So two would produce two candela. So the luminous intensity light is measured in candela. Then your plane angle, which is measured in radian, R A D I A N. Okay. So it is R A D. Am I right? Sir, it should be RD. Only RD? Yes. Okay. Some books write it RD. But in this book, it is given as RD, right? And then stay reading. So it depends, right? I mean, uh, different books, you can see it differently. Here it mentions RD, but in CBSE and all you will see RAD. Yeah. Have you all signed your attendance? Is there anybody who is practicing a signing? No matter. Okay, so in this book it says only RD. And then for solid angle you have stay radio. S T E R A D I A N. So it is S T and then R D. Don't worry about it. You will not face it before 11 or 12. Okay. So this is just mentioned. So I am just covering it. So, huh? Yeah. yeah. Now see. So, so when you have a circle, circle has a plane, it's a two-dimensional figure. But when you have a sphere, like now, so so the angle will be like a cone. You have cone I think. So you see like this. This is a circle. Right? So this angle is plane angle. But imagine earth. Earth is a sphere. So if I take some surface area of earth, so this angle is a solid angle. So it's a two-dimensional angle and a three-dimensional angle. So it will be like a cone. So don't worry about it. You will actually learn that in higher classes, not now. You just need to be familiar with it. Come here, sir. Going on, going on. So that is steroid. Steroid, yeah, solid end. S T E. Just see how it is written in the. It's correct. So the units of all the fundamental quantities, all the fundamental physical quantities are fundamental units. Okay. So units of all fundamental quantities. Physical quantities are called fundamental units. Okay, so units of all the fundamental physical quantities are called. Fundamental units. Now, if you want to measure these quantities, they do not depend on any other physical quantity for its measurement. These are independent measurements. Okay, got it? Completed. Everybody is saying? Okay. So 
units of all fundamental physical quantities are called fundamental units. Fundamental quantities do not depend upon other physical quantities. Is this clear? Fundamental quantities do not depend upon other physical quantities for their measurement. Okay, means they can be independently measured. Length can be independently measured. Time can be independently measured, but not velocity, not force. Velocity is displacement upon time. So you need to measure length as well as time. So it is depending upon two quantities. Whereas fundamental quantities are independent quantities. They can be independently measured. Right? So for that you have to understand what is derived quantities. Yes, the length per second. So meter yeah. per second. Right? So derived quantities Their units are combination of these units only. Measurement of derived quantities, derived physical quantity, depend upon fundamental quantities. Is that clear? So, what are derived physical quantities? Quantities. Example, it will become clear. So, what is speed? It is distance upon time. So, what is the unit? Distance unit is meter, time unit is second, meter per second, or it is written meter per second, or like this. Any which way you can write the unit. Meter per second, meter oblique second, meter power minus one. Is it clear? So speed is a derived physical quantity. So is velocity. Right? Acceleration. velocity same meter per second 
This is meter per second square. Force is kg meter per second square. So all the units are nothing but combination of fundamental units. Isn't it amazing? Like world has so many physical quantities, thousands and thousands of physical properties. But there are only these nine basic physical properties. Okay? All other derived quantities are made out of this. There are only combinations of this. Anything. Okay? Acceleration means changing, changing velocity. Like a car right now riding at uh, is driven say at 30 km per hour. Now you increase to 40, 50. So the car is accelerating. Whenever the speed or velocity changes, it is accelerating. So we say accelerating when it is increasing. And when the speed is decreasing, we say it is decelerating, decelerating or retarding. Okay, various terms are there. They are different. Speed, the difference is we don't care about direction in case of speed. But in velocity, it is in a particular direction. So velocity is a vector quantity, speed is a scalar quantity. So we don't care about direction, whereas in velocity, there is some direction. Yes. So there are two types of physical quantities, scalar and vector. So to describe a scalar quantity, you don't need to describe its direction. Like mass, temperature, if I say 2 kgs, my mass is say 70 kgs. So I don't need to say my mass is 70 kg in a particular direction. However you weigh me, I'll weigh 70 kg. Right? Likewise it is time. You don't need uh, to be able to describe time, you don't require direction. But if it is force, I would say 20 newton in this direction. Left, right, up, down, right? So, so to be able to describe certain physical quantities, you need to know its direction also. Okay? So those are called vector quantities. So velocity is a vector quantity, right? Speed is a scalar quantity. So vector means uh, we have to specify the right direction, left direction. Yes, which direction it is going, like on ground, you have four directions, right? East, West, North and South. Then up and down. So if it is like, if I draw it like this. So this is your East, West. This is North and South. Then you have up and down. So there are six directions, right? So plane would have four and up and down. On sky, I don't know what's wrong. Uh, north, 
is like that. So, like in general, we have solved this. So, if it is a ground state defects, the circle, not necessarily in circle, the angle could be anywhere. Not necessarily circle, right? But if you are if you are attaching it to a ground, like in case of uh, in geography, right, on, on, on the globe, if I want to say where it is with respect to center of earth, then I have given certain latitude and uh, longitude angles. So we can describe that way. But it is an independent thing. But you can mix it with direction to specify any location of earth or anywhere. These are all called coordinates. Right? It is called coordinate. Anyway, so right now just keep it separate. We are just building it up. So if we mix up everything, it will be confusing, right? So when the situation comes, we'll discuss it. Okay. Yeah. So whatever I have discussed so far, is it making sense to you? So let's proceed. So so far we have understood that there are two different types of physical quantities, the fundamental quantities and their units are called fundamental units. Then we have derived kind of quantities, and there are unlimited derived quantities, unlimited. So many combinations, right? And all their units are depending upon fundamental quantities or fundamental units for their present. Okay, that's it. So I think we have covered most of it. And now we will be dealing with measurement of length. What kind of lengths are there? In your textbook, so many extra things are also given, right? So, then you can open the textbook and see what are the uh, different definitions of lengths are given. So, I am calling Selena. Selena is good. Yes, sir. Okay, good, good, good. So, in lengths also, there are different units, right? Can I erase the quote now? Yes. So, any questions so far? Systems of units, I have already discussed. Do you have any question on that? So these were details not expected. We will not ask you in exam. Not everything. It's difficult to remember. Now what I am going to take you through is the definition of meter. What is one meter? Right? What is one meter? Like I said, all these. Uh, <clears throat> Bureau of Weights and Measures head, heads of various countries, they work together uh, at Paris. Then they decided what is a meter. <clears throat> so, uh, initially, like in 1889, come on page 3, units of length, right? So I think I'm, I'm leaving these prefixes, the small prefixes. I think you have already learned this, right? So deca, hecto, kilo, centi, deci, right? You attach it as a prefix or suffix. Anyone has doubts here? Huh? You just go through it, right? I mean, it is, it is self-explanatory. What is What is the meaning for? Ten raised to acha you are yet to okay. So it's like so it's like this. So you can write it as hundred or you can write it as ten raised to two. It means ten into ten. Power means let us say let's say it is ten raised to three. So it will be ten into ten into ten three times. Okay? Okay. If it is minus, if it is ten raised to minus three. Then it will be 1 upon 10 raised to 3, and this is 1 upon 1000. Okay, it's like that. Got it? So, uh, I think in mathematics you learn about it. No, sir, actually, I have a confused. I think this is meter or 
These are all meters only. Uh, so the prefix and suffix will appear accordingly. Okay. Right. So I'm, I think I'm skipping that part, and there are various symbols for it. Like if it is 10 raised to 1, right? So you can say, suppose you have written 1 decameter, okay? So it is like 1 decameter. It actually means 10 meter. So either you say 10 meter or you write it as 1 decameter. So let us say you have uh, 300 meters, right? You can write it as 30 decameter. Understood? This is all you can write. So this is a prefix. So prefix means it will fix before meter, prefix. Right? So this is the meaning of prefix. Is that clear? But don't don't be bothered about this. I don't think it will be asking you a question on this. So is here. You don't need to, I think, memorize these. Okay? These things are also there in 11th standard, as a standard, but no question is asked on this. Question will be asked later. Experimentation. The vernier calculus, the screw gauge, all those. Okay? How to use those instruments to measure smaller length, like thickness of the hair. Can you measure it with scale? But you can measure it with screw gauge or vernier calipers. Right? So we'll, we'll, we'll come to that. Okay. So units of length, we have, how much time we have? 21. So we have 9 minutes. Okay. So let me explain. Yeah. Sir, this decimeter is 10 minus 1. Yes, it is decimeter. So it will be 0.1 meter. Right? Yes, it's 1 tenth of the meter. 1 meter divided by 10. 100 centimeter. Oh, 10 centimeter. Let's see meter is 10. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Then you have various symbols which you will, uh, like the explanation is given. This mu is micro. Right? All the simple name is given to you. Okay, it will appear. But you won't be like getting numericals on this right now. Okay. There is some crazy question on simple mode. Your work. So just go through it. Okay. Because memory, it's a memory test, right? But later on, you will be using it so much that it will be a part of the course. Right? So you don't have to remember anything. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, okay. if, if the question comes up, but there won't be any idea. Okay. So let's come to how the meter was defined. So if you look at originally in 1889. The meter was defined as a distance between two marks drawn on a platinum iridium, which is an alloy with 90% platinum and 10% iridium. So it's basically a metal rod made up of platinum iridium alloy, mixture of platinum and iridium. Right? And two markings were engraved on that metal. And everybody agreed, okay, this distance is one meter. Right? So what was one meter? There was one rod. One platinum iridium rod, and these markings were made 0 and 100, and then it was divided into 1000 equal parts. The smallest part being like 1 millimeter. Okay, so you have 100 centimeter now, 100 and each centimeter also divided into 10 equal parts. So the smallest part was decided as 1 millimeter. Right? Now, this scale was agreed upon in Paris. Right? But then it should be easy to reproduce. So that is also a choice of unit. There is a topic called choice of unit. Choice of unit. So we decided that one meter is something like this. That every country should have its own meter. Every shop has its own meter. Right? So it should be easily reproducible. So, it should be convenient, the unit should be convenient, right? So, meter scale is convenient, right? 
Then in school, polygonal geometry box, we have a very small meter, right? It's only like how many inches? Six inches, right? Fifteen centimeters. Fifteen centimeters, around six inches, right? So we and every geometry box has that. So we it is very easy to reproduce, right? So it should be easily reproducible. Okay. Third, a meter in India should be same as a meter in UK or America. So it, it should not change with place, time, right, temperature. Okay. So it should, that's why it is a standard. One meter in India is same in UK as well as in America. Anyway, right. So it should. Not change with place, right? Time, temperature. In short, it should be fixed. Short. And for this. It should not be ambiguous. Ambiguous. Okay, it should not be confusing. It should be very clear. Right? A, a scale with whose zero mark is disappeared or in between markings are gone, then it will be difficult for you to Okay? So it should be clear. So any unit should be like this. Like in India, can we do with only one scale? Everybody needs a scale, right? So one scale was decided in Paris. Now, if that was the only scale in the world, it will be chaos, right? There will be war. Like no scale zero. No, we should agree. We should agree for a reference standard such that it should be very convenient. So we agree now, like every head of the weights and measures of every country gathered in Paris and they agreed, okay, take it, this platinum iridium rod. Okay? That was then 1889. So today the unit is different. See that rod will temperature will expand and therefore what was agreed may not be the length. You understand? So now there is a new standard. In 1983, the meter was redefined in terms of the speed of light according to which one meter is the distance traveled by the light in one divided so many of the second in air or wind. See in your book that number. Ah, so you just go home and see. Okay, so you, I mean, it is, you are not expected to memorize this. Okay, but you should understand what is a meter. Now you know that light travels with this speed 3 into 10 raised to 8 meters per second. So uh, it is like what? 3000 into 10 raised to 5 per second. So light travels 3000 lakh meters in one second. 10 raised to 5 is 1 lakh. So light will travel in 1 second. How many meters? 3000 lakh. Not 1 lakh. 3000 lakh. Lakh 3000 times. In 1 second. That is the speed of light. So therefore, in a very small part of second. What is the part of second? So 1 upon 2, 9, 9. So is it time? Yeah, just one more minute. 299 So in this part of a second, whatever distance light travels, so this is a very small part of a second. It's not half a second. It's not even lack of a second. It's 2997 lakh of a second. And that itself is very small. It's not even this, so, so much small, right? So that is how a standard is defined. 
This is a very small part of a second. It's a fraction, some very small fraction of a second. That's one meter, right? That's one meter, yeah. Whatever is the distance traveled by light, I told you in one second light travels 3000 lakh meters. But we are not asking about one second. We are, we are saying one second is divided into these many parts. One part of that. So it's very small. Very, very, very small. Not very small. Very, 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 very small. So if you do it with calculator, you will get 0 0.00000 something. It's very small duration. Whatever the distance light travels, that is much bigger. We know meter should be something like this. But since it is a standard, it should not change with time. It is still a normal like this. Definitely. So likewise, there are various uh, agreement on unit of mass. So again, in 1889, one kilogram was defined as mass of cylindrical piece of platinum iridium alloy kept at International Bureau of Weights. As a bureau is B U R E A. So just correct. What is it? B U R E A. So for the mass, again it is a platinum iridium alloy. Right? Some small piece of it. They agreed that, okay, we will call this as one thing. And then they produced various clones of it. Then it was distributed amongst countries. Got it? So this standard, we call it a prototype. And then it was reproduced everywhere else. But now what is mass? Huh? Okay, so we have not changed that. That is the mass for us, right? For atom, there is a different standard. We follow atomic mass unit, okay? And it is taken as one twelve, the mass of one carbon twelve atom. Now I will need, I will need to explain this to you, right? So as of now, mass you stick with this definition, the platinum iridium. You don't have to remember, read it and understand. Or if you are good at remembering, read it two, three, four times, you remember. But we don't expect question on this definition. So it is difficult to do. We have some big numbers. Tough, I should remember. Then what is the second? Second is defined as 1 divided by 86,400 part of a mean solar day. Now what is a mean solar day? Mean solar day is the duration taken by Earth to complete one revolution on its axis. Right? Like time between sunrise, one sunrise to the next sunrise. Okay? So, so that is actually 24 hours. So we work backward 24 hours into uh, one hour into 60 minutes, then into 60 like that. Okay, so you will get this number. So 1 by 24 into 60, uh, 1 by 24 into 60 into 60. Yeah. 3600 into 24 will result into this. So this is a backward calculation. But initially we defined that as one side. But now there is a more precise, more accurate definition, which is given in this term. Like one second is a time interval of these many vibrations, large number of vibrations of radiation corresponding to transition between two unperturbed ground state hyperfine levels of cesium 133 atom. Now, difficult to remember this definition, right? Plus, what it means also is difficult to comprehend right now because you haven't yet read those things. Okay, so these are the theories you will study in higher classes, like 11, 12. So, uh, the new definition of mass is, yeah, it's written here. It is in terms of Planck's constant. Now, Planck's constant again, you will learn in higher standards. Okay? So, just let it somewhere, you know, swim in your brain, be harmless or how well. But you are not expected to memorize. Okay? So, I have basically given you the basis of what is a unit, right? 
So, but you will be using it, not, not so much visualizing, but you will be using it. So, you will be using meter, kilogram, second. But I have told you what is a meter, what is a kilogram, what is a second, what is the basis of it. You should know the origin of it, that's all. So with this, I think we'll uh, yeah stop here. Seven thirty-five already. Right? Do you have any other class today? Yes. Yes. After this one. Okay. So I think we'll stop here. Yes. Yes. Our time is over now. Yes. Ah, over. So let's see. Yes. 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 No, no, no. Only this chapter is additional. It's, this chapter is not very simple. It's simple. And it's in greater detail in the So don't worry about this chapter, okay? This is just uh, so don't, don't be scared. You read it once like a story. Huh? The real fun will start in the next chapter. Okay. Yeah. See? Okay. Okay. Okay.
he is also different school. It is like in you know, a one country, other country, or other country. There is one group, other group. Good evening to you all. No, I did not hear anything. Good evening. You are from which school, my dear? Ah, no. What's your name? Huh? Riddhi. Riddhi. You are from which school, my dear? Both are. What's your name? Huh? Come here. What is your name? Nitra. You are from which school? What is the Ryan, huh? Yes. Come now. You are from which school? Ryan, which Ryan? Very good. You are Ryan, very good. Yeah.
God has put up a rule as saying on nine standard rules as they have to do the this full syllabus. Now some of the schools may condemn the boy. You will have a teacher who will be held by God's school class master of the day. And the last one. Yes, done, Ayush? Yes. Out. Then sit down. Okay. So, you know, when the piece of training partner told when you can do it, after one lecture, no, physics lecture was over, after that, you will be in partner. Okay. Okay. So, so, this is the one, so, maths has to be practiced regularly. Okay, so, we can, so that you know, there should not be. We will come to one by one chapters, um, before coming to the chapters. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, all of these things all of you know them. Table are done all of you know? Yes. Yes. Basically, then you take. Yes. Then till then. Can you think you know addition to you know? Ah. I'll ask you. Yes. Seven, six, seven. Forty. Seven plus six. Uh, seven plus six. Thirty. Thirty plus eight. Thirty plus eight. So that way you have to think about okay, like that, okay. So table and dot you have to think about okay, for that calculation will be okay. next is now in the maths, you know, you remember one statement. If the question is wrong, you will not do that. Question wrong does not mean that it is given a question wrong question. Generally, very rarely is three in the textbook. The question is always question is correct. How the question become wrong? We copy down wrong. Yes or no? The question is given 1, 2, 5, we wrong. When it is coming to the answer, it is 1, 5, we wrong. So, yes or no? So, don't make mistakes. That mistakes are happens. Or, that is one of the things. Second thing is word problems and it is coming. I know in the equation problems always, but Bring the yes, that's the same thing. that is all. So try to understand and make the thing. Okay, read the question, try to analyze and find out what these people are. That is very important. Otherwise, what will I ask you? Everyone knows the formula. You will do the question, you will be, I know, I know, I know this question. But when the answer came up, then they will say, okay, that question. If value was wrong. This is taking. Okay. The main of the mistake is that one. Not that you are not studying. The mistake is 
we make mistake of the calculation, we make mistake in copying the sum sum. So take care of that. It's very important. Okay. Once that all reduced, your tensions are less, then you can get. Okay. That is the one thing. Okay. So for that one, only the method is what practice. Okay. Practice is one thing. Now. Whenever your maths lecture is there, you keep holding the given to what? How many of you did not get? Three, four, you did not get. Okay? You will get the volumes. Means study material and the given. We will be there mainly doing from the UT volume. Now, UT volume is not nothing new. All the questions you will see in your setting up. Okay? The same thing. From there only we made, we made the volume. <coughs> Into classwork and homework part. Certain part is divided into the classwork part, certain is the homework part, and classwork part we will do in the and plus homework part we do it form. That is all. Okay, every topic like that we do. Please do regularly the homework part. When now I will not give lot of homework at all. Okay, certain part of the homework will be given, maybe at the maximum it is half an hour. And while doing the homework, another thing, remember, don't look at the next lecture. Oh, when is the next lecture come? Then only I will do the homework. Try to, in case today is given the homework, try to do today or tomorrow. In a day or two, I will try to complete it. Otherwise, maybe only next week is lecture, I will start. That time you forget. Okay, so that is good. If homework is not given, I have to mark over here. In the attendance sheet, it is marking. You know why it is marking? If it is marked, you know, it will go to the computer. That you can automatically there will be a message to go to your parents. This child is not done the homework. Okay, so do it. And you will not do much homework at all. Okay, take a I know school work is there, things are there. First thing is your school work is half to complete. Okay, school thing you have to complete because your internal assessment, all these things are based on your school. Okay, so at the same time, what we are doing, we will be watching. Okay, that you will be watching. And now coming with you, whenever you come to the maths lecture, you will be carrying a notebook. That notebook will be only for maths. Okay, not, don't use for other subjects. Why means you know, we, it's not a thing we have to do. It's not that you know, this book will be over, another book will take, another book will take. We are mixing up the things that are not okay. So try to keep on this. Even you can use the book of previous years also, okay. Like last year, we bought the book, it is not of the certain pages of there, of, let's say SST. I have already five pages or ten pages, only. but use it, no problem. Not into the way where the books are. Okay, you use that books. And your pencil, pen, scale, that basic things you should be always looking at them. Okay, that all things will be there. I'm sure you will all do well. Hmm? Now, so let's start with not with later. Okay, I just will do. Uh, now, whenever construction is not needed, so now let's start with the basic things and all. This simple certain work I have, I will ask you to do. Okay, keep the textbook as I take a note. Uh, one book. There is one book only now, you don't need to be able to take it. Okay, take it. Take the last page of the back side. Back side is taken now. Okay. I will write something, you know, you have to give the answers. Okay. Calculate that. It's only simple, small revision. Okay, I move. Look here. This is a mark of the 
question has been asked? Addition. Okay. First and foremost, take a sum of your copy in the question log. Okay. For addition, when you learn sum of your copy in the question log. Then addition. When addition, when it is done, decimals are come. You know what is to be taken care? The decimal should be, point should be on the same line. The next decimal should be here, no? Then only write 25 point. That is the first thing you have to keep it. Then, when you add these two, this, there is nothing with zero. So, eight, 8 plus 3 is 1. 1 less. Okay? So, answer is coming as 29.8. Are you followed? Yes. Okay? So, be careful while copying the question, while putting the question. This will be, don't worry, okay? The small mistakes are happening, don't worry. Okay? Got that? Okay. So this one is done. Now, if I give a multiplication, let's say. Yes. 3.2 times 5.7. Students, I don't know. I don't think they are there. Sometimes it's in there. Don't be. It's a right. Like recording is going. Yeah. Okay. Not enough. 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 There are different answers. What I have seen again. You can do 32 and 57 is multiplied. 7 2s are 14. 3 7s are 21 plus 1. 22. 5 2s are 10. 5 threes are 15 and 16. Add this is 4, this is 2, this is 8, and this one. Quite a lot of people got this man. It's correct. This is coming as how much? 18. Yes or no? Yes, yes, yes. So this is 18, 1, 8, 2, 4. The next thing is the mistake is come to most of the people done. Now how many decimals? 1 and 1. 1 plus is 2. So where is the 2 place of decimal you have to do? 18.18. 2 place of decimal you have to do it. Okay. Look in your book. Look in your book. Not look at other book. Okay. So decimal, be careful. Sometimes silly mistakes happen. Okay. So be careful of this. Okay. This is multiplication of you. No problem now. Yes, sir. No analyze at all. It's very hard. Ayush, which what Ayush you have? One filter. What Ayush you have? Party line. It is party. One is party line, other is Ayush. Actually, you have something to do with party. Party is very easy. Okay, chalo. okay now. Next is divide and Find the quotient and remainder. Obtain the quotient and remainder. Remainder. Question is 117 divided by 11. Then quotient and remainder. Then you know what happens. You are correcting, you will make mistake. Not completely, this much time is going to be closer. Completely put the pen down. 
Start with the rational and irrational numbers. 
first we do certain previous parts like you know the reaching to rational numbers we know what are counting numbers we started now counting numbers but how we started counting one two three four etc okay they are called what type of numbers natural they are called natural numbers so what are natural numbers counting what are counting numbers that is something that that counting numbers are one two three four counting okay so natural set you have studied in the previous class yes, previous classes are not. so and natural numbers are denoted by you know what the letter n capital n okay capital n is equal to set one two three Do you know what is this dot space? One, two. How will you read set? One, two, three, etc. Etc. Means what? Let's keep it fine. No more. Okay. This is natural numbers. Okay. Give me an example of a natural number. One. What is the example? Ten. Right. Okay. Okay. Huh? Three. Six. 3.5 is a natural number. No. Okay. Now listen. I said something. Can you hear? Yes, yes. What is it? 3.5 is a natural number. Why? Yes, sir. Yes. Did you think it? No. Did you think it? No. 3.5 is a natural. What do you think? She is not agree. You agree? Hey, it's wrong. So we count. Count. Start counting from here. One, one point five, one point seven. Like that we count. No. Then how three point five is come as the natural number? So that is why don't listen to other center. Okay. So three point five is not a natural number. Why it is not a natural number? It is not a counting number. This is called okay or not? Agree all of you? Yes. Sir. Okay, so natural number. Three point zero is a natural number. Yes, sir. Because it is three point zero is three only. Okay, natural number. So don't make mistakes. What is the least like natural number only? Least one. 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 Smallest one is sir. One. What is the largest one? Three. 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 Stop to three. Sir, two trillion. He knows only two trillion. What is this two trillion for you? He is beyond the two trillion. He knows up to there only. Beyond that, there is nothing. He is a thousand trillion or three trillion. What is the largest natural number? Sir, I don't know. We don't know which is the largest one, isn't it? Do not tell that largest one. Least one give. Okay, so natural number. So you can write natural numbers. Natural numbers. Okay. 
All natural numbers are all numbers. Yes. So, you everything know, don't know only. All natural numbers are not all numbers. Which natural number is not a whole number? Zero is a thought. Listen, this man is not listening. All odd numbers are not natural numbers? No. Because zero is an odd number, but zero is not. Okay? All natural numbers are odd numbers. Yes. yes. Every natural number is enough. One, two, three, four, three, four. This and this, this is not. From here and Okay. So which is the biggest one? Bigger one? Bigger. Among natural numbers are all bigger set. All numbers are bigger set. No, because it's getting bigger. It contains four elements. It contains not four elements. It's keep on going on. It contains an additional element zero, na? Here yeah, there is no that zero also. That's why bigger is bigger. Okay. What is the least natural number? Zero. Zero. Which is the number? Which is a odd number but not a natural number? Zero. Zero is the only the number which is a odd number but it is not a natural. Number. So all number, I don't need to tell you anything else? Yes, sir. Okay, minus 3 is a whole number? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Negative numbers are not there. Okay. Okay, so bigger one. Now next, after that, next is called? Integers. Integers. Who will tell what are integers? Okay. Minus. 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 Negative 0 and positive. Negative 0 and positive. Agreed? Yes. Anything else? Yes. All agreed? Yes. 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 Positive. 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 So it's an integer? No. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, Huh? It is an integer. It is an integer. It's not an integer. Now you have to do it, sir. Okay. It is an integer. Huh? It is an integer. It is an integer. So I said it is. It is an integer. Yes. 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 Majority will take. It is not an integer. Now, look here. First of all, let's clear what is integer. Don't tell positive, negative, and zero. That is why the problem. Yes, for remembering, you will tell. But you have to remember this one. Counting numbers. You know which are the counting numbers? Yes, sir. One, two, three, four. Zero and negative of the counting numbers. Which are the negative of the counting numbers? Minus one, minus one, minus one, minus one. Okay, understood. So what are integers? Counting numbers, zero and negative of the counting numbers. For conveniently we remember that we are positive, negative and zero. Because maths we will not need any definitions at all. Okay, so how about 3.5? Is it an integer? No. 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 Reason? Because not a counting number. Minus 3.5? No, why? It is not a counting number. number. You are the minus one. It is not a negative of a counting number. Okay, it is not. Minus 3 is an integer? Yes. Yes, yes or no? Why yes. is it an integer? Because it is a counting number. It is negative of the counting number. Negative of the counting number. Why is it not? Okay, give an example of an integer. Minus 2. Minus 2. You? Minus 2. You? Minus 14. Minus 14. All minus will be negative, and negative will be again positive of the integer. Again minus. <laughs> so he is thinking about minus two. You zero. He is reached to the other negative to zero. You minus. Again minus. Nobody positive feel you know what something problem with the positive or about twenty five. Integer number one. Yes. Thirty six. Yes. Two thousand. 
is equal to numerator. Yeah, I think it is zero. Six by zero equal to six. Oh, no, 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 no,
represent a fractional form and decimal form. Okay. Every so what do you write? Every rational number can be represented in fractional form and decimal form. This is called which form? Fractional this is called which form? Decimal form. Now look here. Listen now. I will tell you now your confusion is is it irrational? Is it is it rational? Its equal thing is irrational only now. Rational cannot be irrational now. Understood? Same thing if I tell this one. If it is coming out this way, let's say uh, 11 upon 6. Rational or irrational? Rational. Why is rational? P by Q, A by B4. We can, if I divide, what will you get over here? One sir. How much? 6. Remainder. 5. So decimal comes. 50. How much? Huh? 8 sir. 48. Remainder. 2. 20. How much? 3 sir. 18. Remainder. 2. 20. Therefore, 11 by 6 is same as 1.8333. It is going up. Which can be written as 1.83 bar. Okay. This is, again it is what? Recurring one. Okay. Suppose, instead of this one, if I write 11 by 5, when you divide, what do you get? 2 sir. 10. Remainder. 1. Decimal. This is called terminating. This is term. This is not recurring. This is called terminating. How to identify this terminating? This is 10 become and 0 become. Okay. Okay. So, now, we know next property right. We know next property right. Every rational number, rational number is either a terminating decimal, either a terminating decimal or a recurring decimal or a recurring R E C U. Decimal. I, it is a terminating decimal or recurring decimal. What is the meaning of terminating decimal? Division stops. What do you mean by recurring decimal? Which division has not, it is going on. Okay. Now I will tell what is the rational number next class. I will show the examples. Okay. That is all. Okay. Remember this one. Every rational number is either it is a Terminating decimal, uh, you can represent in two different forms. Which are two different forms? Fraction or decimal. If it is in decimal form, it is either terminating or recurring. You can identify which is terminating and which is recurring. If I write 3.5, if I write 3.5 bar, recurring. If I write 3.3333, Recurring. If I write 3.33, uh, terminating stop. The hot if I put means recurring. Are you following or not? Yes. Sir. Okay. Now, time is getting over. Everyone is packing. Oh, what is the time? 8.35 lecture. Yes, sir. 8.35 lecture. Okay. Over now. No need in this point. Ah, you want to make a new book? No, sir. I told you, I said no, one book is enough. If those who wanted to make a new book, new book. Not, not to make it. Okay. School, I'm not you. What are the details? Okay. Write the decimal form of. Decimal form. Means divide and break, okay? First one, 3 upon 8. Second and one, decimal form. Oh, decimal form of questions. 11 upon 7. Third. 3 is enough, no? One more, I should Simple thing, 
division and divide. You know how to find the decimal formula? Yes. So don't copy from me. Okay. Copy yourself. There is a calculator in there, no? Don't use the calculator. Don't do the formula. Okay. Five is not even five is four, no? Next class we will come to. Then we will start with the matter of rational numbers. Then we will start with exercise finding the rational numbers. Is your follow up model? Yes. Yes or no? <laughs> Difficult or yes. easy, na? No? Yes. This way it will be matched to this model. Ma? Doubt? You think easy, na? Hey, we will make easy, na? Don't worry. Okay, chalo, bye. Good night. Bye bye. Our parents will be waiting for you. Then mom will be there, na? Or you go yourself. Uh, chalo, bye bye. Go bye.